Good morning, everyone. And it is fucking cold, and I'm wearing five million layers, and it's still cold. Bitterly cold this morning here at Rouge in Trent Valley. Ah, uh, stop you complaining. Thank you very much. Um, yes, like I said, we are here at Rouge in Trent Valley. It's been a while. Well, actually, not a while. In my case, it's been two weeks. In your case, three days. Um, and I will willingly introduce myself just before the Wrexham and Hollyhead Voyager. No, it's Wrexham and Lang Preston, isn't it? So like that. Yeah, because you say it was Wrexham and Preston, because one of these will be 221101. Um, comes to interrupt me, and that is myself, the intellectual saviour of the unwashed masses. The man currently known as Ian J. Paul. With 1.13, both headed down to Euston. And then they'll go on Hollyhead services for the rest of the day until uh, later on. When I think they get put on Wrexham and Hollyheads, don't they? Yeah. Alright, so, where are we going today? We are going to the University City of Oxford today. Um, we did Cambridge a couple of weeks ago, so we'll do Oxford to keep everything sane and uh, clear as day between the two universities. Um, today's route, by the way, rainbow. Got a rainbow here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, today's route, we are going to obviously start here, 7.38 down to London, and then across on whichever tube line we feel like to Paddington, we'll probably try and get the circle line because see if we get some S stock ride. Because they're stuck on the circle, aren't they? Or is it Hammersmith and City? Hammersmith. Hammersmith, that's the one. Um, over to Paddington, uh, and then. First time for me, we get to ride on a 180, hopefully, if they've put it on the 1120 Great Melbourne. If not, we're screwed. Uh, and we'll be on a 166 or a 165 going to Oxford. Uh, stay around in Oxford, we should have got uh, Brittany today. Uh, but uh, thanks to those wonderful people over at DB Schenker, uh, who are complete neurosurgeons, uh, they cancelled the tour uh, because DBS are striking at the moment. Uh, stay around Oxford for a little bit, uh, and then back on a Piccadilly train, and then back to Rugeley from Birmingham. That is if the train runs, which we have a habit of knowing it doesn't run. So, like I said, we're sitting here, 20 past seven. It's freezing cold. We're waiting for the 7:33, and uh, we'll see what happens. It is bitterly cold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Look, it's a London Midland train that actually runs. Praise the bloody Lord. 502. 502 and 5. 506 doing the double car today. I think 506 will go to Hereford. They gave us a 352 this morning. London Midland, 101 ways to make your journey uncomfortable. It is excuse number 577. Send a 35262 to take you to London, use them. Now the 
believe in route to Trent Valley. Next stop, London Euston. this hair I've ever seen. Well, as you can see, little Desi is coming into London, Houston. There's 391.41. Birmingham train over there. That's just leaving now. All change. going to Wembley Park. Just got some S-Stock leaving uh, Great Portland Street, heading to uh, Harrow on the Hill. This is the uh, S8 version of it. to the rafters. That's true. And uh, now just around into Paddington train station. If you don't want to be on camera, tough luck. Well, 
as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we've uh, now arrived at London Paddington. Um, we're just awaiting the 180 to come in uh, for the 11.20 service to Great Malvern. We've got three free threes over there. No, three free twos. Is it three free threes or three free twos over here? Twos. Three free twos. Got a great Western service heading off in the distance there. Mark three set here. All that's missing is the uh, the 180. The unmistakable sounds of a Mark III alarm system. You don't get any better than that. Right, we found our train to Great Malvern. And then who knows after that? It is a 180. Over here, it looks like 180, 104. It is 180, 104. Look, look at that. It's a beaut. in London Paddington. Next stop, Oxford. Well, Slough first then Reading, but Oxford is the third station. Oh nine seven thinks it's hard in the front staff go at one eighty one oh four. Come on, bring it on. It's winning at the moment. Emphasis on the words at the moment. Slowing down. We've just been owned by a set. Shed ownage.
good. Oh, look out. Look who's arrived. It's cross country and that train is late. Allow me to stand here, look at you and mock. Silly cross country. Here comes uh, one of the lovely class 70s. Number one. departs to the carriage sidings after complete a service from London Paddington. He is ein Dusch. Yes? You understand the word Dusch? Oh yeah, that's you. Oh, you're funny over there. You're very funny. Mm -hmm. Now these 166s, they are the um, express version of the Networker Turbo family. Uh, there are two members, the 165s and the 166s are the diesel versions. The 365s are also Networkers. Uh, they are uh, AC. It is AC? Pantograph, the 365s? Yeah, and then the third rail versions of the Networker family, the 465 and the 466. I like them, they're, they're nice little units. Shame the seats are so hard. Now, uh, right there is the 166's baby sister. Uh, the 165's, they come in uh, two different formats, the uh, three car and the two car. Two cars are later in the uh, lineup for them, but uh, they're, they're more comfy than 166s, I find, except for the same seats, so I don't know why. And um, if you can see them there, just about, that's uh, a Chilton 165. They're the uh, two car versions, although the uh, 650s later on they become three cars as well. Whereas the later versions of the 651s, which uh, Great Western have become two cars. Um, that's on your Vista local services today, but you also find them hanging around on um, some of the suburban lines out of London, Marylebone. Also on the uh, local from Leamington to Birmingham. And uh, some Stratford services as well. But uh, Stratford seems to be becoming 168 territory. the uh, return of the 180s as we welcome the uh, 1331 service from uh, Worcester Fourgate Street to London Paddington 180 102 And uh, it is a very welcome return uh, into Great Western Colours of the 180s. Uh, that's 180-102 there. Um, that was on load to hold trades to cover for them, but uh, is now back with First Great Western. Uh, the 180s making a welcome return to First Great Western Colours. Uh, they were banished due to reliability problems, but uh, First Hull and uh, Grand Central got some out of them, so Great Western said, grab some back, please. And uh, now you'll see them working with First Great Western on their uh, lines to Worcester, Hereford. Well, the plan will be to go to Hereford, but uh, also down to uh, Great Malvern at the moment. So 
165019. Now leaving with the 1500 service to Vista Town. Right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a warm welcome to the Cathedral and University City of uh, Oxford. Um, this is Oxford here. Um, we've got three platforms. A uh, platform over there, that platform there, that's all the way over there. That's uh, for the local services, Banbury and uh, Bicester. Bicester run by Chilton, Banbury by First Way Western. Uh, this platform that's just here is platform one. Uh, you go down to London Panton every half hour. Uh, sometimes they start here, sometimes from the Cotswolds area, Great Malvern, Worcester, Morton in March. Um, this platform that's just here, uh, this is where we go. Also on that side you also get to cross country. Um, every hour to Reading or Southampton Central from Newcastle. Um, every other hour hour to say every other half hour to uh, Bournemouth. Uh, one train to Eastleigh that will be uh, appearing for us today. Uh, this side is where the Piccadilly trains and the Newcastle trains come, although one does extend from Newcastle up to Edinburgh Waverley. Um, I say it's a cathedral city, so um, this is where sometimes the Cathedral's Express comes. I'm still on two bar, that's alright. And um, well, we've been here, came up on the 180, good ride, I like the 180s, um, enjoyed that. And now we are going to uh, be around it about half past six. Uh, and then uh, it'll be back home to Birmingham and then on to uh, Brugley that way. Hopefully our train runs. If not, kill them. And here comes the, uh, the 1531. First Great Western high speed train service from Hereford to London Paddington. Power car 43028 with 41119, 41187, 41111, 42515, 42247, 42173, 42260, 44078, and 413130. Leaving with the uh, service to Great Malvern, 1732. That uh, started here. Now, departing. 
Martin, uh, Sarah is from London, Paddington to Banbury, 166210. Just now coming in the stock for the 1831 uh, service to London Paddington. Which is uh, 43154, 41021-4202, 42210-42031-42010-42031-42010-42030-42030 42032, 44010, and 134, 43122. That'd be our train right there. For 1836 to the Burns to Piccadilly, called the Banbury, Leamington, Coventry, Birmingham International, Birmingham New Street. Wolves, Stafford, Stoke on Trent, Macclesfield, Stockport, and then uh, Manchester Piccadilly. Pops getting to Manchester about 9 o'clock this evening. Don't care, go to Birmingham. Uh, here comes my train home. 220030 on the 1836 service. Manchester Piccadilly from Bournemouth. here at Birmingham New Street. Sounds like a pendolino. It's going down to platform 4A. Is it a zero? Now 17503 is here. Uh, is this the train to Rouge Lake? Yeah, we've got to get an order, man. 
Here's Rootsy Town. town we have done uh, what is known as the full circular uh, route to Trent Valley down to London across to Oxford uh, via Slough and Reading and then upwards to Birmingham uh, via Leamington and Coventry in the Coventry um, and then over to Rootsy town um, has it been a good day yeah damn right it's been a good day we finally got to travel on the class 180 um, I know someone has been bragging about the 180 since he went up to Blackpool North. Um, he is going to be in the process of getting kicked in the balls for still bragging about it. But uh, what I will say about the first Great Western 180 is they, the seats are very hard. They're nice, they're nice and long, don't get me wrong, they've got plenty of room. But they are hard. But yet the ride is a very comfy ride. First Great Western done very well with them 180s, getting them back to how they used to be. Or better. They are better, actually. They seem to be working now, unlike when they used to have them. <laughs> That's the one thing that uh, you can say about them. Uh, but, um, so yeah, we got some good shot. We got plenty of 59s this morning, which uh, I'm dead happy about. Even a better picture of 59 203. I got a picture of that at Stafford, but um, it, it, let's say it just snuck up on us and. Uh, it took us by surprise a bit, uh, so the picture was a bit naff, but uh, got a bad picture of it while I was uh, on the 180 because there was a, like a horde of 59s at um, that yard. Um, anyway, that will be it for me. I could go on about class 59s forever, but uh, number one, I need to get home because it's freezing cold. Just like it was this morning. I've got oh, I've got three look at it, I've got three layers on right. I've got a fleece, body warmer, shirt. I would go further, but unfortunately you see my naked belly, I don't think anyone wants to see that at this time of night. Um But that'll be the end of it. Uh I'm not I'll be honest, I'm not sure what I'll do in my next video diary. I might do when I go through the Midlands, I might wait and uh, do Manchester, uh, or I might leave it a month. And uh, when we do go down the Chiltern Main Line, no, actually, it wouldn't be the Chiltern Main Line because um, London would be first, wouldn't it? Hmm. Yes, it would. So I might uh, do that anyway. Um, I best end it because my camera is shaking to bits here. He, he looks like a plate of jelly. Uh, yes. <laughs> so um, until next time. Good afternoon, good evening, good night. I'm now going off to go to explain to people in crew uh, why video chats are pointless, boring, and really tedious. I mean, they're absolutely terrible. You don't know what he doesn't know what he's saying some of the time.